I've never seen anyone actually do cocaine. Wow. Are I you have. attracted to addicts, though? Well, I had one husband who said he was a s addict, but I don't f***ing believe that. Kylie Berry isn't one to mince words, and she recently gave fans a peek into her thoughts about one of her most infamous relationships. In a revealing interview on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, the actress dropped a bombshell about her ex-husband, Eric Benet, and reignited old controversies that many thought were buried long ago. Well, I had one husband who said he was a s Static, but I don't fucking believe that shit. Okay. <laughs> Barry 58 stated, not bothering to hold back. While she didn't call him out by name, it wasn't hard for fans to connect the dots. After all, Benet's alleged struggles with addiction were public knowledge during their marriage. But Barry didn't just stop there. With a bluntness that left listeners stunned, she added, I don't fucking believe that shit. For those unfamiliar with the story, Barry's comments brought back a flood of memories from the early 2000s when the two were Hollywood's it couple. The pair tied the knot in 2001 after dating for two years, and many believed that Barry had finally found happiness after a series of failed relationships. But just two years into their marriage, it all came crashing down amid rumors of infidelity and accusations that would tarnish Benet's reputation for years to come. When Barry announced their separation in 2003, she released released a carefully worded statement saying, Eric and I have had marital problems for some time now and have tried to work things out together. However, at this point, I feel we need time apart to reevaluate our union. We ask that you respect our privacy as we are going through this emotional time. But the media wasn't interested in respecting their privacy. Instead, the tabloid headlines exploded with stories about Benet's alleged cheating and a supposed sex addiction that had pushed Barry to her breaking point. It didn't help that, shortly after their split, Benet reportedly checked himself into a rehab facility for sex addiction. The narrative seemed straightforward. The charming R&B singer couldn't keep it in his pants, and Barry once again was the victim of a man's indiscretions. But Benet wasn't ready to accept that label. In a 2004 interview with ABC News, Benet pushed back against the notion that he was a sex addict, making it clear that he wasn't about to let the public define him that way. I am not a sex addict, he insisted. I am a person who through a series of emotional events, troubles, challenges, made some really, really stupid, painful mistakes. It was a moment of honesty for the singer, but the damage had already been done. His name had become synonymous with infidelity, and Barry's subtle shade during her recent podcast appearance only served to remind the world of his troubled past. For Benet, this label has been a burden he's had to carry for years. The truth about his relationship with Barry may be far more complicated than what the public saw, but perception is everything in Hollywood. And when the story broke, the public sided with Barry, casting her as the wronged woman and Benet as the unrepentant cheater. While Benet tried to move on and rebuild his life, Halle Berry faced her own struggles in the aftermath of their marriage. The actress, who was at the height of her career in the early 2000s, found herself repeatedly falling into relationships that seemed doomed from the start. One of her most high-profile romances romances post Benet was with model Gabriel Aubrey, whom she started dating in 2005. The couple seemed blissfully happy for a time and welcomed a daughter, Nahla. By 2010, Barry and Aubrey's relationship was over, and what followed was a bitter custody battle that turned Barry's personal life into a media spectacle once again. The fight over Nala's custody wasn't just about who would have more time with their daughter, it also involved Barry's financial obligations. In 2014, a Los Angeles Superior Court ruled that Barry would have to pay Aubrey $16,000 a month in child support, a sum that drew criticism and sympathy alike. For Barry, this wasn't just about money. It was about the principle of being financially responsible for a man she was no longer involved with, a theme that seemed to echo her previous struggles with Benet. And just like with Benet, Barry's relationship with Aubrey continued to be a source of legal drama and emotional pain long after the romance had ended. While Barry grappled with her relationship woes, Eric Benet moved on to find a semblance of peace and happiness. In July 2011, he married Manuela Testolini, the ex-wife of the late musician Prince. For Benet, this was a fresh start. The couple shares two daughters, Lucia Bella and Amora Luna, and by all accounts, they've built a loving and stable family life, far removed from the tabloid chaos of his past. Benet's marriage to Testolini seems to have given him the stability he desperately needed. But despite his efforts to live a low-profile life, his past continues to cast a long shadow. 
Even now, when people mention his name, the first thing that comes to mind isn't his music or his happy family life. It's the drama with Halle Berry. It's a burden that Binet has carried for nearly two decades, and Berry's recent comments on the Armchair Expert podcast serve as a reminder that for her, the past isn't completely behind them either. Barry's tumultuous romantic life didn't end with Gabriel Aubrey. In 2013, she tied the knot once again, this time with French actor Olivier Martinez. The couple welcomed a son, Maceo, later that year, and for a brief moment, it seemed like Barry had found her happily ever after. But history repeated itself. By 2016, the couple had finalized their divorce, and once again, Barry was thrust into another messy custody battle. Recently, Barry made headlines when court documents revealed the staggering amount of money she's had to spend in legal fees. The Catwoman star has shelled out over $200,000 to fight for custody of Maceo, including $80,000 to cover Martinez's own legal expenses. I have done everything possible to work with Olivier, to communicate with him, and to engage him in the decision-making process regarding our son in an amicable way, Barry stated in the court documents. The financial and emotional toll of these ongoing battles paints a picture of a woman who, despite her success and fame, has struggled to find peace in her personal life. But just when it seemed like Barry might be destined to repeat her romantic mistakes forever, she found love in an unexpected place. In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Barry began dating musician Van Hunt, a relationship that took fans by surprise. After years of rocky romances and public heartbreaks, Barry's new love seemed refreshingly drama-free. Barry has been nothing but vocal about her feelings for Hunt, frequently gushing about him on social media and in interviews. At an event in December 2021, she even referred to him as the love of her life, a statement that shocked many given her complicated romantic history. But this time, things seem different. There's a calmness and maturity in her relationship with Hunt that was missing in her previous marriages. While Barry appears to have found stability, Benet's journey has been more of a quiet redemption. He never quite escaped the shadow of his marriage to Barry, but over the years, he's managed to build a career and a family life that he can be proud of. His music continues to resonate with fans, and he's found joy in being a husband and father. Whenever Barry brings up the past, it's as if the wounds are reopened all over again. In some ways, Benet's story is one of resilience. He's a man who made mistakes, paid the price for them, and emerged on the other side. His relationship with Testolini is proof that people can change, grow, and build new lives no matter how messy the past may be. But no matter how much he's moved on, Barry's comments serve as a reminder that the world may never fully let him forget his most infamous role, the ex-husband who supposedly betrayed Halle Berry. So what does this all mean for Halle Berry and Eric Benet's legacy as a former couple? Their story is one of Hollywood's most enduring cautionary tales about the dangers of fame, love, and public scrutiny. For Barry, the scars from her time with Benet still seem fresh, as evidenced by her sharp words on the podcast. It's clear that, for her, there are unresolved emotions and lingering pain that haven't completely healed, despite the many years that have passed. For Benet, the constant reminder of his past mistakes is a burden he's learned to live with. He's moved on, found love, and built a new life, but he'll never fully escape the shadow of his failed marriage to Barry. The world will always remember him as the man who supposedly threw away his chance with one of Hollywood's brightest stars. Check out our other videos if you liked this one.